What's up, y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to AD Cooks. And on the menu today is a country style barbecue rib in the oven recipe. Easy, simple meal. Appreciate you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys. What we have in front of us is what I said at the intro, country style rib. This is a portion of the uh, pork shoulder. What we're gonna do is season this baby up and we're gonna use our normal seasonings on this. We're gonna start off with a little bit of garlic powder. And we're gonna do this per side onion powder paprika and I hope you all are having a wonderful day I am black pepper Lowry seasoning salt and again we're doing this in a barbecue sauce so we don't want to over season our meat Gonna go with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. And what we wanna do is kind of massage this into this side, flip it over on the other side, and uh, uh, season things the same way that I just did on this top side. All right, guys, once we have seasoned our uh, country style pork ribs aka pork shoulders what we have in front of us is a mixture of olive oil and a mixture of vegetable oil we're going to take our ribs and we want to pan sear these not to cook them but just to get a browning on them We'll store with these. We do not over, we don't want to over saturate our pan. So, you know, we want to keep the heat up so we can get us a nice uh, pan sear. So what we'll do is kind of pan, pan sear these for about maybe uh, two to three minutes and flip it over. Let's go ahead and flip over. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> Going to continue to let things cook on the other side, two to three minutes. Country style ribs have been on this side for about two to five minutes. Again, we're just looking for a crust. Let's go ahead and pull them off, take them to the side. We are not trying to cook these. Again, we're going to take our other ones. We're going to do the same type of technique on these. This is a big one. Again, let's get a nice sear on these. Let them cook two to three or three to five minutes. Country style ribs have been on for about three to five minutes. And we, uh, these are big, so we, and there's a lot of fat also on this side. So we kind of have been rotating them a little bit too. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these babies off. We're gonna take us some onions. We want all of that flavor at the bottom of this pan. 
and the oils from the onion will pull up a lot of this like debris we're not really trying to cook our onions we're just trying to pull up that oil or not pull up the oil let the oil pull up the debris We'll let these saute for a minute. Maybe about a minute up to a minute. We're gonna go in with a little bit of uh, minced garlic. Another minute on this with the garlic and the onion. After about a minute, we're gonna take us some uh, vegetable stock and really deglaze our pan. stock on there we just want to make sure we get all of that good flavor from at the bottom of our pan okay guys once we have uh, finished pan searing our country ribs this same type of situation that we had in our skillet. Let's find a nice spatula. We're just gonna dump over the top of this. We have deglazed everything. And uh, we're just gonna dump them onions and them garlics all over this, this deal. Get that flavor up out of that deal. Once we have uh, dumped our onions and all of that, uh, we've deglazed our pan, what we'll do is cover this, go into a 300 degree oven. We're slow cooking it, baby. And then we're gonna get us a nice tenderness to our meat first, and then we'll continue to add to the color. So cover with foil. 300 degree oven, let it cook. Okay guys, after an hour, we're gonna go ahead and check on our uh, country style ribs. And uh, we should have a lot of fat rendering on these babies. We're just gonna continue to let things cook and uh, kind of get things tender. So we'll continue to cover and let things cook. Okay guys, after an hour and a half, let's go ahead and check on these babies. Got a lot of fat rendering because there's a lot of fat on these uh, country style ribs. They are tender. At this point, what we're gonna do, very tender. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain out a lot of this fat and then we're gonna put our barbecue sauce on. All right guys, once we have drained a lot of that fat that was rendering, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our barbecue sauce in, and we're just gonna kinda, if you have a brush, it would be best to probably use a brush. How about let's do this. Just dumping this sauce on this, y'all. And we are not gonna go covered at this point. We're 
gonna let this thing cook. We're gonna turn the temp up to 350 as well. All right, guys, once we have our barbecue sauce uh, kind of put over our country style ribs, we're gonna throw it back in the oven on our 350 uncovered. And we're gonna kind of get a nice color to things. And uh, somewhere around 30 to 40 minutes, that's what we're looking for. These ribs are done. We're just trying to get color to them. And we're trying to incorporate the barbecue sauce into them. Okay guys, we went ahead and took our country style ribs out after we let the barbecue kind of based on these things at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. Just depends on how many ribs you have inside of your casserole dish. What we're gonna do is cover, let things cool down and then we'll plate. Okay guys, we went ahead and plated our baked barbecue country style ribs easy simple meal you just want to make sure things get tender use your favorite barbecue sauce and there you have it easy simple meal appreciate you for tuning in like share and subscribe